The other week I was in London for a climate change rally called at the time it's now. Check out that video right here. There I bumped into my bishop, Bishop Stephen Croft of Oxford, and we did an impromptu interview about why he was there and a few other questions about Christians and climate change. You can check that out right here, right now. Oh, but by the way, the answer to the question at the beginning was yes. <laughs> So now I'm with Bishop Stephen, who's my bishop. Who, Hi, uh, very good to see you. I'm with Dan. So um, I might be more on my bishop, depending on a decision I'm going to make tonight for a job so, yes, uh, so. and a calling. Um, so Bishop Stephen, I heard that you were here. Yeah. Why are you here? Why is this so important? And um, why is it important to us as a church, yeah. as Christians? Um, yeah. Well, I, th I think the care of creation and the climate catastrophe we're living through is the most important public issue of our day. And I think it's for every citizen to uh, really engage with this as best we can. And it's for the church particularly, because we believe God made the heavens and the earth and has given us uh, uh, the task of stewarding creation. And uh, we need to be able to face the truth that climate change is happening and also face the truth in hope that as Christians we can help lead change uh, so that there is a future for generations. I read a book a few weeks ago uh, called The Uninhabitable Earth. The opening sentence of the book, A Science is Good, says it all. It's much, much, much worse than you think it is uh, what's happening to our climate. And we need everybody to be active doing our own bit, but also being engaged politically. Has the church uh, really got on board with this enough, or are we kind of coming into this too late? Uh, I, I don't think we're too late, but I think that, as the headline for this lobby says, the time is now. And I think we're seeing some encouraging signs of public awareness growing through the school children's uh, movement, Greta Thunberg, uh, through uh, people's awareness of plastics now, and what that's doing to the environment. So I don't think it's too late, but I think it really is important that the church gets on board. And how do you, like as a bishop, uh, cut through the theological uh, essence of this, where you know, you got that one end where saying, well, we're going to get a new heaven, new earth, this doesn't really matter, yeah, yeah, you know, it's going yeah. to all replace. So what we do now, and actually, this is, it could be, you know, played out in the book of Revelation, we're here, so let's yeah. just, how, how do you... Well, I think, I think we have a responsibility as Christians to be good stewards of the good earth that God has given to us, and we also have a responsibility to uh, pass on to our children and grandchildren uh, the earth in a better condition than we found it. And we're passing it on in an infinitely worse condition yeah. than my generation found it. And in another 25 years, it's going to be incomparably worse again at the moment. Yeah. Greenhouse gas emissions are still going up globally. They haven't started to come down yet. Just to turn that corner and bring those greenhouse emissions down will take a huge effort for everybody. It's fantastic the government have committed to net 2050, yeah. net zero carbon by 2050, but there's a huge amount to do to make that target a reality. And when did that uh, become a reality to you? Did, did, was your mind changed or have you always been uh, sympathetic? I, I think, I think I've always been, um, I hope, sympathetic to the environment, but I've become much more uh, active in speaking and uh, writing and, and uh, I sit in the House of Lords and yeah. uh, doing things uh, to do with the climate in recent years because I think the science has become uncontroversial that, yeah. that we're in the Anthropocene era, that mankind is affecting the planet really, really seriously, uh, it's affecting the poorest of the earth disproportionately and we just need to change that in our generation yeah. and if we don't, who will? Yeah, well, no, it's, it's amazing to come down here, seeing all these people, and yeah. how uh, actually I, uh, how the media portray yeah. this before when you had the process a few months ago. Yeah, um, uh, they portray a kind of particular one group type of people. Not yeah. not that it's bad, but the normality that's here is quite amazing. Yeah, no, uh, it's been a very joyful day. Uh, other the faith leaders uh, march together was really a good example of the different faiths working together. Yeah. There's a lot of joy and hope. Uh, as people gather here. There's respectful dialogue with MPs, which has been great and is really important at the moment. Uh, and I think it's been a great event. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you for stopping. Thank you Pleasure. for being here. It's good. Enjoy the rest of the day. Okay. Cheers.